Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another grocery haul for you. It is a large grocery haul today because I plan on doing a lot of batch cooking. So I bought enough hopefully to last us for two weeks of like main meals and then next week we'll probably have to do a little top up of like fruit and veg and things like that. But today I have spent £60 which given that it's hopefully going to last us a couple of weeks shouldn't be too bad and then I'll probably spend I think around £20 next week just on like a top up shop. So like £80 over two weeks so it works out at like £40 a week which is much less than I would normally spend on shopping so if it works out it's going to save us a lot of money. So I'm going to show you things that I've got then I'm going to show you my meal plan um, and talk about the kind of things that I'm going to be batch cooking. I am going to make a video specifically on batch cooking where I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments so that I can go ahead and make that. And just to add, I am having a makeup free day today and also I'm giving my hair a bit of a rest and not using any heat up on it today. So I've just let it dry itself. So that is why I'm looking a little bit thrown together today, but never mind. So I'm going to get stuck in. I'm going to show you the things that I bought today, followed by my meal plan. So first up, some meats and frozen things so I can get those put away. So I have two packets of the 750 grams of... 5% fat steak mince. I get the 5% fat one because obviously it is better for us and I feel like you get more for your money because most of the weight isn't fat. It's prop it's all meat if you know what I mean. So I got two packets of those. Um, I'm going to be doing some batch cooking so that's why I got a lot more than usual of that. I got two packets of the Cumberland pork sausages. Those were two for three pounds so I got two packets. I got a packet of frozen garden peas for dinners this week. I got this pack of two sort of sections of the diced chicken breasts. These are really handy because they're already sectioned into two parts. So you can just use what you need. And oh, I can't really see it. But yeah, that is 450 grams between the two packets. I got another bag of um, long grain white rice steam bags, four steam bags. I find these the quickest and easiest way to make rice. There's four individual bags, you just pop them in the microwave and they are so quick and easy. I never have much luck cooking rice um, when I do it in a pan, so this suits me perfectly and they're not very expensive for the four bags, so I don't really mind buying those for convenience. Um, I also got another bag of the diced white onion. I go through so much of this, it just saves so much time and effort cutting onions because they're already pre-cut and frozen and then as I need them I just take them out of the freezer and pour what I need into each dish so they're handy it's a new packaging I think this is their it's the same price as the old packaging but um it looks a bit fancier now doesn't it I think it's a pound for that bag I also got some Elm Lee single cream to make pasta dish this week I wanted to get Elm Lee light and I'm sure they used to do it but when um I went online to have a look for it at Tesco this time they don't do it anymore and I couldn't find any light alternative to cream. So if you buy Elmley light cream then let me know if it's still available because it doesn't seem to be in my local Tesco's anyway. And I also got a pack of wafer thin honey roast ham slices. Okay so I got two packets of the garlic baguettes. They were two for 250 so I got four baguettes all together and we're going to have pasta a couple of times this week so we'll have them with our pasta dinners. I picked up a new chocolate spread because we'd run out and I just get the everyday value one. Um, I got a jam. I did buy a more expensive jam this time because I prefer a nice jam and yeah, I just spent a little bit more than jam this week. I picked up these butter brioche rolls. They're just like really small brioche rolls and they're perfect for Elle's lunches. So I picked up two packets of those. This one I've already started we used that for lunch today, so there's only half left. But I did pack, pick up two packets of those. I also picked up some OXO beef stock cubes because I'd run out and I need that for dinners this week. I picked up a loaf of Hovis wholemeal medium sliced bread. Elle likes that for her toast in the mornings. And I like her to have wholemeal because it's better for her than white, obviously. Um, I got a big bag of this um, frusilli pasta, frusilli? Fusilli pasta from Tesco. It's a three kilogram bag. As you can see, it is pretty massive. I usually prefer to get penny pasta, but for some reason, they seem to have stopped doing the penny pasta in the three kilogram bag. That was the only kind I could get in the three kilogram, and it actually works out um, cheaper, and also 
it means that I don't have to buy pasta as often and we go through a lot of pasta so I usually like to buy the big three kilogram bag. We needed more ketchup so I got some tomato ketchup. I also got a packet of spaghetti. This is their bigger packet. It is one kilogram because we're going to be having spaghetti this week and we often end up with some of Caitlin's friends over for dinner so it's handy to have extra pasta because that's a really quick and easy dinner to throw together for lots of people. I got our usual two um, four pints of skimmed milk. Excuse the mess in the background. <laughs> I got a packet of grated cheddar. I usually just buy their everyday value one, but they've stopped doing it. And I think this might be the equivalent of their everyday value one now. It's called Cream Fields. So it is just um, number one strength grated cheddar. I picked up this instant mashed potato. I've had it before and it's actually okay. It tastes much much like if you make your own mashed potato and it's just handy to have if I'm in a pinch, I'm running short of time, it's just a handy thing to have. I have some spinach here to go with one of our pasta dishes this week. I have a pack of 12 Scottish medium free range eggs. Um, I like to have eggs in the house. We've been really enjoying having omelettes lately. so. I got a pack of eggs. Now, I ordered bananas. I did my shop on Click and Collect because I just honestly couldn't be bothered going around the shop. And that's why I went to Tesco instead of Aldi because Aldi don't do Click and Collect or delivery. So I did it on Click and Collect. I did it online and I thought I'd ordered a bunch of bananas, but it seems I ordered one banana. So we got one banana, which meant I had to stop on the way home and run in and get some bananas from Aldi. So I got one packet of ripe bananas and one of slightly green bananas so that by the time these are finished, these should have ripened. So I had to add that onto my shop, but at least I only had to run in and get one thing rather than have to stand and queue at the checkout for hundreds of things. That's why I like Click and Collect. Um, I also got a packet of the Pink Lady Apples. There's um, six in this pack. I got four jacket potatoes. They're just handy to have for lunches or to go with a main meal sometimes. I got some potato salad. I've been enjoying having that with some um, cold meat and salad at lunch times, so I got that. I also got four plain mini naan breads there to go with a curry this week. I got tortilla wraps, um, eight in a pack. We go, we have these every week. We go through them like nobody's business. Elle likes them. Caitlin likes them. I have them for lunches. I've been loving having quesadillas for lunch with these. So um. Yeah, they don't last any length of time at all. So I've got a packet of those. I got a tin of red kidney beans because I'm going to be making chilli this week. I got a packet of... a packet? Why do I keep saying a packet? I got a tin of chickpeas um, because I'm going to be doing a curry this week and I like to put chickpeas in it. To go with the curry, I've also got some coconut milk and this is the light one, so it's slightly less calories than the normal one. I got a tin of peeled plum tomatoes and also some beef gravy granules because I think I need more gravy granules granules and this one is the reduced salt one which I prefer using especially when the kids are going to be having it. I got some lightly sorted tortilla chips to have with our chilli but unfortunately it seems to have got a bit bashed in the, in the car but never mind. And I got some mushrooms to have in our, um, in our bolognese this week. I got some flat peaches. We've really been enjoying having peaches. They're really they're not ripe at all at the moment, so I'll pop them in with my bananas in the fruit bowl and the bananas will ripen them up nicely, I think. Some blueberries. The kids love having blueberries for a snack. Got some carrots to have with dinner this week and also a cucumber. The kids love snacking on cucumber. So that is everything that we got this week and I will pop the total cost of all our groceries up on the screen now. This is just our food groceries. It doesn't include any cleaning products or toiletries, but this is how much we have spent on our groceries for this week, food alone. And this is hopefully gonna feed us for two weeks of main meals, hopefully. Okay, so my meal plan for this week. Monday, I am gonna be doing spaghetti bolognese with garlic bread, and there is loads of veggies in my homemade spaghetti bolognese. Tuesday we are going to have homemade chilli and rice with nachos and we'll probably have some cheese and some quark with that. I have quark in the fridge and it's like a, I use it as an alternative to sour cream but it's like no, zero fat. So I like to have that. Wednesday I am going to do sausage and spinach pasta. 
Thursday, chicken curry, and I've bought those naan breads to go with it. Friday, we're going to have mushroom pasta. Saturday, cottage pie. And Sunday, I think we will have, I put down quiche, but I think we'll have omelette instead because I don't have any pastry for quiche. So we'll have omelette, chips and beans, I think. Homemade chips from potatoes and beans. And I'm going to be making double the amount of most of the things this week so that I can freeze them for next week. And then that way I won't have to cook next week and also it means that my shopping from this week will last for two weeks hopefully that's the idea anyway so that is what we are going to be having this week hope you enjoyed today's video and found it useful if you did give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this let me know and if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you get notifications of all my videos and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Bye.